YouTube, Shikun Shinobi here, and it is vlog time, sort of. I recorded a vlog earlier in the month when the uh, HLJ box with, like, Lion Howe and the Oki box with, like, the Digimon, Digivice, and Madika and stuff. I tweeted about everything, uh, got here. But it was really long, and I didn't like it. Um, I didn't, like, nothing was funny, not that I ever am. But nothing was funny, it really wasn't entertaining, I was just going on about how awful everything is. And so I just ditched it. I ditched it completely. I forgot to edit it at one point, and it was supposed to go up on, like, a Wednesday. And here comes Saturday, and it still wasn't up, so I just decided to ditch the whole thing. But I am back again for another vlog, attempt number two. My dog's going to start barking in a minute, because I'm talking to a camera, and he thinks I'm singing. I think that's what's going on in his head right now. But, anywho, um... So I am here to announce the winner of the Gemmer slash Shukun Shinobi epic White Tiger Zord giveaway thingy. And uh, I am very pleased to announce that the winner is SSJ3 Goku. Hi! I talked to you on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it was completely random draw on behalf of Gemmer. Um, I had absolutely nothing to do with the draw. They just picked it. There was like about 50 entries or so. Uh, give or take, so the 50 of you that hopped on over to Gemmer and are currently posting up your toys, thank you! Uh, it definitely made the, uh, the Power Ranger section boom. And, uh, there was a great turnout, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you that, uh, came out for it. So, um, SSJ3 Goku, congratulations. That Tiger Zord is yours. Gemmer will be contacting you directly, and they will get it shipped to you ASAP. So again, thanks for all that uh, joined Gemmer and uh, jumped in on the fun. For those of you that are sticking around, thank you. I'll be popping my head back up in that social network very shortly. Things have just been really super busy around here. As you can see, everything is pretty much in the exact same place it was last vlog I filmed, because I don't have time for anything. And to wrap things up with the contest, I do want to give a huge thanks to Sam from Gemmer, whose internship ended and he's no longer with the company. But a uh, huge thanks to Sam for kickstarting that, and a uh, huge thanks to Phil, who is my new contact over at Gemmer, uh, for putting everything together for me. And uh, it was a lot of fun, and I hope to do it again sometime in the future. So obviously what would a vlog be without an unboxing? And so I did get a box from HLJ. There's not a whole lot in it. But uh, it's some new stuff that you'll see after the stuff that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, condensed version of what that last vlog was about that I was complaining about everything. Life is just getting really, really hectic. Um, I, I don't really... I can't give a valid excuse. I don't have a valid excuse. Um, it, it's a combination of the fact that I'm just doing so much with terms of, like, house stuff. Like, like yard work or or going to do groceries, or taking Cat to work, picking Cat up from work, um, helping friends with things, um, family trips, family time, dinner, anything. Um, it, it, it builds up after a while, and there's not a whole lot of time left in the day. And between my work with CS Toys, that um, is more or less just sort of building and building, taking up more and more time. Um, Whenever I get some time to myself, I just either want to veg on the couch and watch TV or watch something on Netflix or play a video game or something. So it's uh, it's kind of like a thing where the time that I have to film, I don't want to film because it's the only time that I have for me. And uh, it, it's, it's a lot at one time, but I'm trying to restructure everything, reorganize myself, focus myself to, to get these videos done. And I don't want to sacrifice quality for the fact that I'm being lazy or anything like that because I don't I don't want to do that. I want to keep making the best videos I can with my current ability and I want to keep raising that ability to make better and better videos, be it continuing with toy reviews or jumping to some like Let's Plays or Top Tens or Pokemon TCG Online videos even. That's something I kind of want to do once I get a bigger collection on there. Um... I want to do so much, and my channel is Toy Reviews, and I need to focus that energy on Toy Reviews, even though my mind's going off in all these different directions of wanting to do things that I think is fun, 
that might not necessarily you guys think is fun. So I'm kind of at a crossroads with what I want to do. I could open up a second channel for things like that, keep this for toy reviews, do another channel for, for Let's Plays and stuff, but then you're growing an entirely different audience, and I really like you guys. So it's kind of kind of a bit of a mess, but I, my head is kind of all over the place right now, and that's sort of why if there's any been any sort of shift in personality in any of my videos or anything, I do apologize for that, but I don't want to say things have been stressful. They certainly have. Um, money is not great now, and, and all this other stuff going on in my life that uh, makes everything a mess. So I don't want to say it's not stressful because my life is basically just stress right now. But uh, the... I t forgot my whatever the hell I was going to say. I don't even remember. Um, um, I'm going to wing it because I don't remember what I was going to say. Uh, basically, just... I want to apologize for just the way things have been lately. Uh, the videos haven't been... I don't think they have been as entertaining. I don't think... Uh, I don't I don't think they've been as quick as they should be. They haven't been as steady as they should be. There's been days going without videos, sometimes multiple days without videos, because I just, like I said, my brain shuts off, and I, I don't want to do those things. But this is my career. This is what I chose to do with my life, and I need to focus that energy on what I want to do instead of just sort of saying, like, oh, this isn't an actual job. This is a hobby. I don't need to do it right now. That's not true, because for me, my hobby is my career, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But I think right now I'm just going through this weird thing where nothing is quite as good as it should be, and so it's really knocking me down. But I'm trying to get back up. Sometimes it takes a little effort to get up out of bed in the morning, but I'm trying. I really am. So anyway, like I was saying, there's an HLJ box here with uh, not a whole lot of stuff in it. So we got this big box. So you would think that there's a lot of stuff in here. It's really cool. It's like, wow, it's a big box. Now that that's out of the way, here's what's actually in it. Um, because of this guy right here, the Ultra Cy Ultraman X Cyber Card Set Volume 2. Because of how this is freaking packaged, it takes a monster box in order to fit the stupid thing in there. And because I shipped it with other stuff, um, they couldn't do one of like the really thin, kind of long, flat boxes. They had to do a box like this. So, Cyber Card Sets are the bane of my existence in terms of actual shipping. But this set does include Tiga, Ginga, Mebius, and Ultimate Zero. As well as Cyber Gazort, Thunder Durambia, um, Impli. Imp whoa. Impelizer. I don't think that's Romanized right. And uh, Bemstar. Bemstar and Ultimate Zero give him new Cyber Card armor thingies. So we will take a look at that uh, probably pretty soon. I'm really excited about Ultraman X, so I'm kind of kind of prioritizing uh, those videos. Um, but we have a Ultra Monster DX toy right here of Gor 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 Goria. That's like a Goria. Uh, I don't know. He's got a weird name. Gar Gor Gor Gorgon. That's a mouthful, dude. Get a new name. Um. So his feet kind of look like they got jacked up a bit. Yeah, his feet certainly did get jacked up a bit. Look at them. Oh, you're all sorts of bent. Soft vinyl is is like a great collector's material, but it's so bad because it gets so bent out of shape in boxes. Um, so he'll take some, he'll probably with his tail and stuff, he'll still stand anyway, so it's not really a big deal. But uh, the Ultra Monster DX series are a lot bigger than the Ultra Monster series because they are, see, a lot. Uh, no, you can't see them over your tag. Get with it. They're a lot smaller than the uh, normal Ultra Monsters. So they're bigger, better, and still come with a cyber card. So you darn tootin' I had to buy them. Because I gotta get some cyber cards. So I also found out that um, they're doing a cyber card wafer thing. Um, Bandai does this a lot. They package um, a gimmick, especially with cards, because they used to do this for uh, Gomboride and stuff. They pack cards with like a candy. Um, oh, bye, gor 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 gor. Uh, <laughs> um, they, they pack it with like a wafer, 
like candy, like a Kit Kat sort of thing. In fact, I don't even know if they're chocolate covered. They might just be like a normal cracker. But anyway, uh, so each one comes with a cyber card, and there's a set of 12 of those. They are differently numbered than these. These are B, I think. I don't know why they're B, to be honest with you. But these are BH and BK. Um, those ones are CH and CK, C for candy toy, I imagine. Um, now obviously there's not going to be Gashapon cards or anything like that, so I don't think we have to worry about a GH or a GK, but, so I might try to get those, um, they're easily available on AmiAmi, so I might just pop in a pre-order, it's only like 18 bucks for a box of like 20, so, I might pick those up, um, we'll, we will see. This guy is here too, he is, uh, Alien Rudian, he is supposed to be in the next episode of Ultraman X, appearing on Tuesday. So looking forward to seeing him. He's like a gold monster or something like that. So he is here. We also got uh, Dino Maru from the Ninja movie. He is here being all Dino Might and all of that stuff. And then I accidentally picked up D-Art's uh, War Greymon. Uh, there was, he's just a reissue of the normal one. He's not the like collector edition super metallic nice one. Or anything like that. He's just a normal uh, original D Arts release. Hopefully, this one won't have jacked up shoulders like my original one did. But um, I, I more or less just picked this up because I was like, "Oh, Digimon, click!" And then I thought about, it, I was like, "Do I really want him?" And then I forgot to cancel it. Um, but I'm picking up that new Omnimon, Omega Mon, because cloth cape, man, it really does me in. So. I figure I'll pick up the Metal Gururumon Original Designers Edition because that's easily distributed by Bluefin now. Um, I'll pick that up whenever I want, and I'll just make a display with War Greymon, Metal Gururumon, and Omnimon and call it a day. So, I'm going to keep them, so don't ask to buy them or anything. If I do decide to sell them, it'll be on my sell list. But, like I said, that was it. There's not a whole lot in here, but because of the way that this is packaged, um, along with the fact that I got, like, a guy that's this big... Uh, sitting in the box too. He does stand it just so it looks like he's trying to go on his tippy toes. Um, they had to do a big box and it's really complicated, but anyway. And that about does it for this uh, vlog. Lots of fun stuff on the horizon. I will put out as many videos a week as I can. Um, like I said, mentally I want to do a complete restructure of not only my life, but my channel and, and everything. Uh, going on right now, I want to focus on this. I want to wake up in the morning and set aside three, four hours to just sit down and write or take pictures or or shoot video or like record or something. I want, I need to mentally set this up like a job. Like you go and you work for four to, to eight hours or whatever it be and then you come home. And I mean, obviously I will still be home all the time which means I get to eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want, but, and go potty whenever I want. But I digress. Um, I, I think that's something I mentally need to do because I have yet to do that. I have always treated this as something I can do on the side, and if I want to make this as much of a career as I want it to be, because I love doing this, I love you guys. Speaking of loving you guys, um, I, well, as always, I just want to say that your support means the universe to me. Um, it It's crazy to think of where I'm at right now. There's always room to, to go higher and improve and, and do better, yeah. But um, it's been a long road, but still being here today doing this uh, for, for most of my income and to, to think of it as a career is all thanks to you guys uh, supporting me, interacting with me, um, and everything. I know I don't get to all of the comments in videos, uh, but I try. I try to, whenever there's a question that pops up in my email inbox, I get all my comments sent to my email inbox. And if there's ever a question in there that I know I can answer, um, I try my best to. Sometimes I can't and I forget. Or it doesn't hit my email inbox. That happens a lot. When I look at uh, some comments of videos, I'm like, I never got alerted to a comment like that. And that happens. And I, I don't, unfortunately, have the time to look at all of my videos and pluck out uh, comments all the time. But I try my best. I really do. Um, and as always, if there's a like super important question that you need to ask me, there's my AskFM link down below. Um, I answer almost all questions sent in through that that are reasonable and answerable and not actually comments. 
And as always, there is Facebook and Twitter that I do my best to answer all of my tweets and uh, Facebook comments and stuff too. So as always, um, if you need to get a hold of me, all those social media outlets down below are a great way to do so. Probably a little bit better than the YouTube comments because those aren't always reliable. So there is that. But why I address this is I want to give a special shout out to um, a fan named Noah in Australia who has just been really absolutely awesome. A while ago he sent me this little keychain of Raphael that he picked up uh, handmade at um, a local market uh, near him that's currently hanging on my desk with my uh, Doki Doki Precure fairy guys because those are really adorable. But, uh, and, uh, that meant a lot to me. One, it was, uh, it was purchased with me in mind, and I, and I love that dearly. I really, really love that. And then he sent me something else, um, recently, too, and I picked, just got this uh, the other day in the mail. He actually sent me the Olimar Amiibo. Uh, this is not out in the U.S. yet. Um, it's coming out in a couple weeks, end of August or September 11th, maybe? When Mario Maker comes out, I don't remember when this actually debuts in the U.S. But he sent me this all the way from Australia, and I could not love it more. I love playing as Olimar in Smash. I think it's really fun, and the Pikmin games are a huge favorite of mine. Uh, so this this means the absolute universe to me. Yes, I will be opening him, because Amiibo deserve to be open. Dang it. Uh, but uh, it, it means the universe to me that... Um, and I, I've gotten a lot of other little gifts here and there. Um, EB Twit on Twitter... Uh, EB, you're amazing. Um, I've gotten a lot of posters and goodies and even a game and stuff from him. He is, he's been awesome. I've, I've got such amazing, amazing friends and fans and whatever you want to call it. And your support means the world to me. And I just randomly get gifts in the mail sometimes. And that just, it really highlights my day because uh, a lot of times, I don't know what I'll say, but a lot of times my days are very run of the mill. They're either bad or boring or nothing happens and when I either walk down or drive down to the mailbox and I see a package I wasn't expecting and it's from a fan or a friend or something and I didn't know about it, it, it really makes my day. It really does. So, um, Noah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it and uh, he will gladly sit amongst my amiibos and be really amazing. So a uh, huge thanks to you and huge thanks to all of uh, my fans that, that really uh, make these days uh, really great and, and really worth living. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, I need to, to, to treat it mentally like, like a job that you set aside time for each and every day. And I need to do that. So that is what I'm doing right now. Um, the review schedule is more or less out the window because right it just keeps getting delayed because I'm stupid. I don't like what I'm doing with it, but um, basically with that is I'll try to stick with it as much as I can, but um, I have no idea what I'm doing with that, honestly. I have no idea. Um, next up will probably be Lion Howe and the Shobu Changer thingy. Um, Lion Howe is a bit of a pain because he's so big, he doesn't fit in my review station whatsoever. Uh, so I'm going to actually have to film that out in the dining room uh, on the big kitchen table. And that's currently messy, and I need to bring out my lights and everything. It's really complicated. So Lion Howe will happen when he happens because he's got a lot of prep work going for him. And I currently don't have time to do the prep work. So hopefully um, by the end of next week, I expect Lion Howe to pop up. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I got some podcast editing to do, and then I'm going to hop over to the review station and start filming some of these things and the Shobu Changer and anything else that I know I've got going on. So, once again, thanks for dealing with me. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, take care and have a great one.